I was watching um, Drop Us Reincarnation and there's one of the um, yeah. beast women. So she's like half human, yeah, half yeah, female. Yeah. And because it's anime, mm-hmm. you know what she's wearing up top. Yeah, basically yeah, a piece yeah, of string. Yeah, yeah. That's basically it. Yeah. Basically a piece of string just covering the essential areas of her chest. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Heard sp- I heard footsteps coming down. <laughs> changed. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> changed. Straight to homepage. Straight to homepage. Smooth. <laughs> Just I just hit that back button on the remote. Just back, back. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, you can't do it once. Because once goes, it might pull. Let me. I just sent you a link. Uh, okay. I found this article on Games Radar. Um, the top twenty anime to watch in twenty twenty four. Fine. And I would like us to quickly, briefly go through this. Uh, yeah. I wonder if any of them are on Netflix as well, actually. Well, uh, but you. Okay. Fine. In the UK, <laughs> Why? UK. no, because already I'm seeing like a oh bunch yeah, of, of course, them. yeah. But I'm sorry, trust me, just <laughs> I'm seeing loads. <laughs> I'm seeing loads <laughs> that are on here. Yeah, so, on nah, yeah. Nah, nah. Netflix has it. Netflix, they huh? They know what they're doing. <laughs> These guys are cheeky, cheeky. So let's go from uh, this is the 2024 Games Radar. 20 anime series you should be watching in 2024. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is in order, but we'll just go from just go uh, yeah. top to bottom. From the top to yeah. bottom, yeah, exactly. So first one, no surprises here. Attack on Titan, uh, cool. not much to be said there. You have to watch Attack on Titan. It's it's done. Next one, Cowboy Bebop. So it's not a case where, uh, from already what I can see in the article, it's not a case where it's just new gen anime or an anime in the ten years, last ten years or so. They are also looking at more so kind of retro anime. So Cowboy Bebop, I would definitely recommend. I know Solo would as well. Yep. Great anime. May not necessarily be as polished as the new ones, but I think it still um, it still holds its value or it's, um, it's it's still good and, and I, I, I still holds its. It's almost like a Nintendo feel and that it still looks good and like you can watch it today and not feel turned off like it's a bad and badly animated show true 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 so there's that um death note again i think this is something that everyone knows and you should definitely watch death note it's a good start it's a great start to anime delicious in dungeon so this is what solo just mentioned on netflix (laughs) wow wow i don't even know what this is but um based okay. on real q's manga delicious in dungeon follows the journey of a party of DD dungeon dragons style adventures mm-hmm. as they aim to save one of their own along the way they have a massive crew of different people mages warriors locksmiths and they have to <laughs> cook up a storm by making meals out of the dungeon's creepiest crawliest denizens so it's kind of it's basically it's like a funny funny heartfelt type of thing where they're just going basically they're in a dungeon they kill creatures and cook them and eat them that's basically <laughs> what it is and it's based on humor so that's basically what it is it's basically what it is delicious in dungeon oh good kill a rat and then make uh, some cake nah man, I'm fine <laughs> that's I'm disgusting good. I'm good I'm good <laughs> You want a piece of this rat tail Who's that comedian that it was, um, they said uh, it was, they killed something nasty, but then you taste it, it says it tastes like chicken. <laughs> just like take a cooker. Like, <laughs> oh, horrible, man. No, 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 no. Oh, that no. makes me just feel, uh, Next one, Demon Slayer, yeah. also on Netflix. Uh, great show. Uh, I mean, I say great show. I personally think it's okay. I would say, have we done a Demon Slayer review? I don't think we have. We have, we but should, we need actually. to do another one. We need to do another one. Yeah, we have, actually. We have. Yeah. I think I gave it seven. I don't know if we... Um, no, we didn't. haven't done it like a review no, we like didn't that. Do a we recent, just, we yeah, just, we didn't do a review. Okay, yeah. you know what? Okay, you know what? I'm going to watch the, the, one of the seasons. I'll watch the third season and I'll see what it's like. Because I've watched the first two seasons. Yeah, the third season's good. Let third season's third. good, I would have Let to say. Third. third is actually quite good. I like the fights in that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I still think Fire Force is better. Um, come at me. <laughs> You're wild. So there's okay, that. Um, Fate Zero mm-hmm. is the next one. So this is going in alphabetical order, as you can see. Fate Zero. I never. I've heard a lot of Fate this series. So You've seen them, right? Yeah. No, I've seen some. So my brother used to send me constant clips from Fate, saying he's got best some of the best fights he's ever seen are in the Fate series. There are mm. so so Fate is has been on Netflix periodically on and off various different shows because there's I think there's there's multiple different shows at the moment in the UK. Yeah. There are two different Fates that I see. Maybe more, but I definitely see Fate Apocry Apoc Apocrya Apoc. Yeah, them. 
a, a pop, yeah. A pop, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's what's, what's the one. word? So let's say, <laughs> no, no, it's this one. Doesn't people don't need to know? Fake, a pop, 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 pop. I have no idea. Yeah, okay. But that one, and then there's another one. I think there's another fake one as well. But I have, I do remember fake night, uh, fake stay night on there. Fake zero, I think. I remember if that's one mm-hmm. of them. But um. I don't know where to start. So if anyone knows where to start with the Fate series, please let me know, because I'm curious. And the clips make it look like it's good. So I don't know, we'll see. Okay. Uh, next one is our Solo's favorite anime of all time. 100%, you know, he's, 100%. Uh... I've been saying, I've been talking about this anime for such a long time and no one believed me. No one, everyone was just basically cussing me out. No one had faith in me. No one believed me. Such lies. No one believed me. <laughs> I told people Fryeren was the best of all time. Like I and I don't oh know why people make goodness. fun of the name. Like I know it's just childish, right? It's just childish. Fryeren is the this best is of all crazy. time. Crazy, best of all time. Man. They even linked the highest rated anime of all time on the, uh, on the article, article as well. Right? This is crazy. Honestly, nine point one eight six hundred thousand votes. I, I have you started more. it yet, Solo? No, I think that's more. No, I haven't started it yet. I haven't started it yet. I haven't started it yet. I'm still yeah, it's more than we last time. Jobless. Sorry, go I'm, on. Still, I'm still watching Jobless Reincarnation. Yeah, I've heard about that. Is that good? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Main character just, deserves um... to be on that island, on my prison island. Hundreds. <laughs> but it's a decent show. It's a decent show. I just, uh, I finished uh, Reincarnated as a slime. Well, I've got, I've got today. Oh, what do you think, Seth? I knew you couldn't stop. I knew you can't stop. You can't just I leave can't it. Honestly, you just have to I go. couldn't stop. <laughs> You can't, it doesn't matter what you think. I could not Keep stop. It's just one watching. of those shows. And you want to know what's happening next, don't you? You want to know what's happening? Yeah. I was like, I was to the point where when I got to the end, I was like, damn it, where's the next episode? Because you know, Axel, we're not going to do any spoilers, but you know he's been introduced to that group now. And then you see everybody yeah, in that yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, obviously yeah, the next yeah. season is going to be all about how he obviously is going to befriend everybody in that group as well. So there'll be... Oh, calm. gosh. No, no, no. That's it's great. yeah, it's actually it's so great, and I just uh, I'm actually been on an anime purple patch. I just finished okay. Chainsaw Man as well. What do you think? What do you think uh, of Chainsaw Man? I actually enjoyed it. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. It's um, it's very it's very direct and brash. We need in to terms do a review of, the main of Chainsaw character. Man actually, because I've watched it. So now that yeah. we've finished it, we'll do a review of Chainsaw Man. We'll do a review of Chainsaw. Yeah, Man. let's do that. Let's do that because it's not ex- the main character is not what you'd expect from a your typical show. Neither is the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I actually like that. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely do a review okay. on that. Next one on the list, and I've heard about this as well. It's a very good, passionate anime. It's Fruit Basket. You have you watched or Fruit, Fruit Basket? Basket? Nah, I've heard about it a lot. I've heard about it a lot. Uh, it's actually one one of those animes that's been highly rated on Mal as well. Okay. Um, but no, I haven't watched it yet. Okay. So we're now at Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is one that uh, I can't speak highly more of. Again, a much much older, I say older, but mid to early early to mid two thousand ish. Yeah, and it's uh, an incredible, incredible it's anime. Show, um, it's a great show. Great, great anime. Great anime. So if you haven't watched it, please, and we'll link this article. But that's not on Netflix though. Show on the notes. UK one anyway. No, it's that's not, not on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, that's not on Netflix. Is is it not actually? Mm, no. Oh no, the live action no. is on Netflix, but not the not actual. The anime. <laughs> And don't watch the live action. Yeah, the watch the anime. Watch the anime. No, 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 definitely don't. Definitely don't. Sure. Definitely don't. This one is on Netflix. Haiku, Solo's favorite sports anime. Boy, I got I, boy, I my journey into Haiku was from Netflix. Netflix, mm. Netflix, Netflix brought me there. Hundred. Mm, like, you know, interesting. Cool. So you're saying it. that. When I told you about Haiku and I said it's on Netflix, you basically went to Netflix, watched it there, and then kind of unlocked the category or the, I would say category, sorry, the catalog of anime shows on Netflix. Uh, before that, I don't think I was watching many net, um, anime on Netflix. Yeah. I was going... Yeah, that's what I mean. I was going to, excuse me, I was going to Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll, yeah. So... I didn't see that much. I mean, anime was there because I'd watched like mm. Spirit to the Way and stuff like that. But I wasn't. I mm. didn't tie Netflix. Um, Haiku was the first time I. I was just like, actually okay. I don't always have to go to Crunchyroll, and sometimes it's mm. just and just a. It's a first world problem, but just being on Netflix yeah. and then going homepage anime. It's just 
It is what it is. Because then I might be switching from watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia or Friends or something that, or Is It Cake? <laughs> <laughs> and then just bang, straight over to straight over to anime, you know? As soon as Mr. Solo falls asleep, cool. <laughs> Your show is coming <laughs> off. My anime is going on. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> ah, Straight that's up. funny. <laughs> so, did you ever do when your parents, when you're watching something and then they come into the room you and you just turn it off because you know they're going to tell you? Yeah, you switch 100%. the channel, you just turn it I still do that now. That's what Solo does. Oh, Miss what are you Solo. talking about? I'm not even, you think this is a joke? You you thought you were about to oh, say some joke? No, you're speaking facts, Ed. Because I did it the other day. <laughs> there was, there was, I was watching uh, Jobless Reincarnation and there's one of the uh, yeah. beast women. So she's like half human, yeah, half yeah, female. Yeah. And because it's anime, mm-hmm. you know what she's wearing up top. Yeah, basically yeah, a piece yeah, of string yeah, yeah. that's basically it. yeah basically a piece of string just covering the essential areas of her chest that's it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Heard, sp- heard footsteps coming down <laughs> changed <laughs> Strange. changed straight to home page straight to home page smooth just i just hit that back button on the remote just back back yeah because yeah, you can't do it once because once goes it might pause it you have to go and, yeah, and then you do it yeah. again and it just takes it back to the uh, to the show page. No, 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 no. Yeah, back, yeah, back, yeah. Back, back, home page. <laughs> then I'm just scrolling through. Then comes through the door. How you doing? I don't know. I'm just trying to find something to watch. Don't know. <laughs> don't know. Do you want to watch anything? Come. Yeah, you watch your show. You watch your show. I don't know what to watch. I don't know. I don't know what to watch. I don't know what to watch. You watch your show. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm know. dead. Sorry. That's so true. You're about, I, uh, Things like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can imagine my solo right what? now. <laughs> I don't need to have that conversation. Didn't I hear something solo? No, nah, no, it was no, a trailer. No, no, no. It was a trailer. Because you know on Netflix, <laughs> right? If you hover over a show, yeah, it goes yeah, to a yeah. trailer. Oh, He's quick, he's quick there, he's quick. Mind is going. I felt like light. I was just I felt I felt like I was perfect. Oh what? gosh. No, nah, no. Nah. I don't need to have that conversation of coming in. I had I did mm. that once with um <laughs> Shogi Kiki no Soma, uh, Food Wars. Yeah, Food Wars. I'm not doing yeah. it again. There's no point. There's no <laughs> point. I'm not gonna bring that conversation. I'm not gonna bring I need we need to talk. I don't want that conversation. I don't need to. So, oh my god! Triple tap, triple tap the back. <sighs> let's go back. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, watch your shirt. There you go. Oh my gosh! All right, next one is my favorite sports anime, Hajim no Ippo. Uh, yep. great great sports Netflix anime that's again. also on that's Netflix, Netflix yeah. um, it was actually inspired or influenced or not influenced sorry Michael B. Jordan was inspired by Hajim no Ippo, um, Okay. which is great yeah. if you know Michael B. Jordan did the Creed series as well yeah. so uh, it's a great anime if you haven't watched it absolutely great next one on the list Jojo's Bizarre Adventures and sort of take notes of these names because at the end I want to ask you what you think deserves to be on this list yeah. or not in terms of must watch anime for 2024 Jojo's Bazaar Adventures. Um, I've only got up to the third one, I think. I haven't watched four and um, beyond. Um, Robot 92 tells us, you know, five and six and seven and how many are are really good. But I heard four is not the best. But um, beyond that, apparently, it actually gets really good. Um, yeah. What's wrong? I'm trying to think if I'm going to watch no. it. I'm not going to. Nah, I'm not. Honestly, I don't <laughs> I'm think trying I to think if I'm actually gonna watch it, and I'm not. I don't know. Like, I, I mean, I, I think it's okay, but I think it's just an okay. It's, it's just an okay show. Yeah, I, okay. I I enjoyed the one and two, and then three was okay, but it just yeah. But uh, yeah, I know Robo ninety two is probably like kissing his teeth Spin. right now. Robo ninety two, someone in the, who on our Discord, by the ladies and by the way, super lights or ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go on our Discord, it's super lights assemble. There's also a link to it in mm-hmm. our show notes Don't or worry. episode notes. Come join the fun uh, debate with Robo ninety two and his essays. <laughs> Um, the next one is JJK Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't think no, I need to explain this one here. Next. next one, Mob Psycho 100, another Robo 92 special. Uh, he keeps harping on about this, but I actually agree with him. Robo, um, Robo, Mob Psycho 100 is a great anime. I think it's, um, is it finished now? I can't remember. Yeah, um, I don't know. I know the manga I has, it is. I know the manga's finished. Mm. And the manga's definitely finished. Yeah, uh, this is a. I love this anime. Honestly, absolutely love it. I it's in my top twenty. I don't 
it? No. Ah, oh, big, big. Oh, it's a, such a great anime. We're gonna later on so this year. Good. We're gonna have to do a new twenty twenty, a new top twenty. We're gonna have to do. A yeah, new top 20. I mean, we always have to, but yeah, this is definitely in there. Uh, but yeah, great, great show, yeah. Mob Psycho one hundred. Next one, Solo keeps telling me about this, and this is on my list to watch before the end of May. Monster. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know you should actually read it. Probably, I don't know if I will read it though, so I'll just watch it. It's on Netflix, so it makes it easier. Uh, but Monster is definitely an anime I want to watch. I actually went to an anime and chill events. Shout out to them. Yeah. And someone also there was saying how Monster is one of the, uh, a great anime to watch. So I'll definitely watch that. Uh, next one, Neon Genesis Evangelion. If you want to get a crazy, mind-twisting, psychological, am I worthy <laughs> kind of show, then definitely watch Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's a great show. You know uh, gonna, older one, gonna like drop, a 90s. So I'm going to just jump in there. I'm going to just interrupt you. One thing yeah. I noticed about shows like Neon Genesis Evangelion, when I first watched it, I was expecting a typical... Mecha, Mecha anime. anime. Yeah. You can't recommend that show as a Mecha anime. anime. It is Mecha, but you can't recommend it as that. But go into that show expecting some depth, and I think you'll get more out yeah. of it. And I say this because I remember the first time I watched it, like it took me a few times to actually finish it and I kept falling asleep in some of those episodes <laughs> some of those episodes are hella boring because I was ex- not because I think they're boring but I was expecting a different show I was expecting a mecha version of JJK it's not that it's a very different type of show and mm. it's similar to when you recommended Ghost in a Shell to me so I went into that not expecting some crazy high high octane high paced no it's like okay this is about the the union between humans and technology and humanity and all that kind of stuff so I went into Ghost in the Shell and I think Ghost in the Shell Psycho Pass Neon Genesis Evangelion Steins Gate all of these shows you have to go into it with like kind of like a deeper mindset not to say that you have to be deeper no 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 no. i'm just saying go in there with a kind of an expectation that okay this is not to be like a typical battle show then this is something else yeah exactly very true very very true next one run with the wind this actually caught my mind because i love sports anime and this is the name gives it away but this is an anime about running uh, wow. According to the website, this is actually a great adaptation of the novel um, by Shion Muru, which tells the story of Kakuru down a Kak- Kakuru, a down on his luck ex runner who attempts to conquer the Haku- Hakone Ek- Ekidi relay-, relay Marathon with his roommates, almost all of whom are beginners. So again, it's at best is one of those ones where you're trying to take bring people on the journey. You know, everyone's like, I'm dying, I don't want to do it. And then you're kind of like, that motivational, you can do it. It's There's one main guy who's just the freak who can just do everything, I'm sure. I'm just guessing yeah. this is what it's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But I think uh, I will watch it. Uh, I kind of like... I, I, I mean, I like sports, anime. I mean, sports documentary, sports films in general. So to put in anime, is just even better. Um, it's less impactful because it's not necessarily based on true stories, but still, or not all sports are based on true stories, mm-hmm. but I guess it's the ones that are based on true stories are really cool mm-hmm. because it shows that, you know, it, it can be done. But yeah, I really, really want to watch this. So yeah. it will be on my list. Okay. Next one, Solo mentioned Steins Gates. Uh, I watched this. I did not like it. Solo was telling me it's the business until he found out the truth and said, <laughs> and nah. I think it's good, but it's not top 20. But it is good. It is good. Yeah. It is good. It is good. It is good. It was alright. It was alright. Uh, Violet Evergarden. Um, yeah, I just I think I've sort I said I've sort like a one or two episodes of this. Um, yeah, it's alright. I think I'm. I, I think I'm gonna get Mrs. Solo to watch Violet Evergarden. You know, has Mrs. Solo w- watched any other anime? Nah, no, 
<laughs> I see, I said, yeah. So how do you think she's gonna watch Violet Evergarden? Because I think it's an easier. Because I'm just looking at the. I'm reading the. the I'm, I'm reminded of the of the summary. So following a teenage mm. girl as she recovers from injuries suffered while serving in her nation's army, this uh, this Netflix anime is a powerful, affecting journey that will have you sobbing like a baby. But by the time its brief 13 episode run is over, now one is 13 episodes easy thing for mm. her to, for mrs soda to get into two she likes shows that make her cry for some reason i don't know you know this, this all this emotional mm. stuff she actually she mm. likes she actually does like so i'm like okay cool let's give it a go and also because it takes and 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 for me i think because the next section is like okay the stoic robotic like violet sheds off the trauma and grief of war and her presumed yeah. dead major to take up letter writing now i think that's quite interesting yeah. so i think yeah i think yeah something that we can both enjoy i think i like that i think i like that. <laughs> solo's gonna be the one crying 100 <laughs> mrs solo, 100%. Like... she's been looking at me like why are you crying it's, like, it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe you watched two seasons of Clannad, man. <laughs> Boy, it hooked me, man. It hooked me. That hooked is me. wild. I think it caught what? me at the right time in life. The right time in life. <laughs> yeah, that's the, all I can do I can say. The right time in my life it caught me. That is mad. I saw that. I, 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 I pushed through just to you do the review. But yourself, after so. like, oh my gosh. <laughs> just so you could do Wow. <laughs> Ah, trash uh, but anyway that's just my opinion uh it's it's just it's it's clearly not an opinion shared by many because it's quite highly rated in mal as well my anime list so um but and yeah but but another little another little soapbox moment from solo i was reading okay. a book called um never let me go and it frequently comes up as uh, a good book to read um, I'm not going to talk about what it's about, but I it's well recommended. So I thought, let me pick it up. I started reading. It was okay, but it took me ages to get through the, thir- the first 30%, the first third of the book. Mm. The second third of the book was getting interesting. And everyone kept saying, just wait till the ending. Just wait till the ending. I love reading. It took me weeks to go from like halfway <laughs> to like just like say 70 percent of it i'm reading on a kindle i was like you know what i can't do it anymore i don't care i just googled the ending of the book just tell me what the ending is <laughs> i can't i'm not wasting i can't i've got other i've got other books i want to read and i'm wasting time forcing myself mm. to w- read this book that i know i'm just not bought into and i don't care if you spoil it google the ending i was like oh okay <laughs> felt so good felt so good i didn't waste my time <laughs> felt so good uh, in the following three weeks i've i've read one and a half books i was like this is what i wanted rather than waste my time with some book that didn't yeah. resonate with me at the time interesting but no i think that's what we do with anime i'm so more i'm so much more comfortable if like an anime doesn't resonate with me i'm just stopping it yeah i'm just, just stopping yeah. it I, i'm not forcing yeah. myself i'm just not forcing myself no. that's what i did with demons it could be i'm like i'm Something mm. just didn't drag me. I'm like, okay, I ain't, I'm not watching it. I'm not going back to watch it anytime. That's no, fair yeah. enough. That's fair enough. And I think, I think knowing your personality and someone um, like you, Demon Slayer is not necessarily going to grip you uh, because, as I mentioned, the story is not necessarily there as much mm. as you know your JJKs or. Uh, your I think Fire Force, but you d- you don't think so. But especially I think Fire Force. Even My Hero Academia, I think um, My Hero Academia has a better story. Yeah. Although uh, there's more I'd intrigue agree. in Demon Slayer, but yeah. Cool. Uh, the last one, the last one is one where season one I describe as ice cream, and season two I described as broccoli. <laughs> ice cream yes. is fun, yes. fast, high energy. But not necessarily good for you in the long term. Whereas broccoli is uh, nutrient dense, <laughs> packed with goodness. It's perfect. Will energy. make sure you live uh-huh. long yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> and make yes. right decisions. Yes. <laughs> but it's not that fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's and I mean, is. I'm talking about villain side. That's, that, <laughs> that is exactly how it is. 
<laughs> Isaac Hale. So when I got oh, introduced to Villain Saga, it was introduced to me as, as Broccoli. So I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> I was like, this someone like this is Broccoli, okay? It's good. Did they say that with all the fighting that happened in season one? No, because but the, because the manga is not when someone oh, recommends because okay. remember it's a seinen it's not so seinens mm. are they're known obviously because they're targeted at a different demographic they can explore mm-hmm. more they can go into depth a little bit more they can talk about mm-hmm. some more uh, difficult topics and difficult subjects mm-hmm. so when it was like, it's almost like the the quote unquote big three of seinen <laughs> there's, there's nothing like that exists but you'll frequently hear berserk mm. villain saga and mm-hmm. vagabonds like yeah, those three yeah. you'll hear it everywhere those three mm. and they all talk about difficult topics or an interesting topics or go re- in deep around kind of character development yeah. and character growth all three in abundance so i knew because i read the manga before because it was recommended to me that hey and i was given mm-hmm. the heads up hey by the way <laughs> this ain't no battle stuff okay you'll see some fighting but it's not about that so it's like oh okay mm. but with the show came out and season one and all those fights and people was like oh my gosh look at the fights i know for a fact some manga readers are like poor people <laughs> they have no idea they're gonna get so disappointed yeah and you're one of those yeah. people you got this, I was one you're of those one people. of those people you're one of those people yeah yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, that's the list. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are the 20 anime that have been recommended by Games Radar. So, I, I mean, I think, I, think, I think it does a very good job in terms of anime recommendations. 100. Of course, I can't judge. Sorry? No, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I, I can't judge the ones I haven't seen, like Delicious in Dungeon and Fate Zero and Fryerin and Fruit Basket. But all the others, I mean, the only one I would say that I potentially wouldn't have in there is JoJo's. Uh, mm. And Stein Gates. Do you, do you know? But what? I can see why he put it in there. But I, because like like what like our guest said, you know, JoJo's is so different and out there that it kind of lends itself to being something there to be watched, especially when it comes to memes and you want to yeah. be part of the joke. Yeah. So for sure. But yeah, definitely not um, Stein's Gate. That for me, don't nah. Here's the here's the scary thing. I actually no, no I'll get to the scary thing afterwards. 20 series that you should be watching in 2024 goes without saying watch what you want but if i was going to write a list mm. i think this is a pretty good list i might i might pick some different mm-hmm. ones i might add a yeah. um a spy family in there i might add a mm. boji i've uh, forgotten the name forgotten the name of the yes story. ranking the Frank, kings. ranking of kings i might throw that in there but of 20 series that you could watch in a year that is a that is a very balanced mm. introduction to one to 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 anime you got bits of yep. everything in there. You got some mm. some growth. So you got some uh, kind of so like a character, some character studies. You got some traditional battle. You got some. Mm. You got some comedy. You got slice you of life comedy, right? shonen, romance. Seinen, you got, yeah, yeah, you've got like it covers everything. So it's mm-hmm. a good list. Mm. Wait, is he trying to destroy the next video with Ichigo's Bankai? Is that a keyboard? Yes, yes, it is. It's still there though. Yes, but in his mind, it's gone.